Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update. I'm Josh Feinblatt and here are this week's top stories. And remember, no flipping. No flipping. <music> President Obama made a historic trip to Cuba this week, the first time a president has done so since Calvin Coolidge in 1928. Some think that this might be a step forward in our foreign relations, but other things is a very rash decision by Obama. But who knows, maybe he's just going through his Cuban midlife crisis. Bernie Sanders said that if he did endorse Hillary Clinton, he would insist that she fight for $15 minimum wage. Sanders said, it's really hard to win a campaign if I'm only getting paid $7.50 an hour. Hillary Clinton told Jimmy Kimmel that if elected president, she would declassify UFO files. See, that's the difference between her and Trump. She wants to make the files on aliens public, and Trump just wants to get rid of the aliens. Republican Speaker of the House Paul Ryan said that he was going to give up anxiety for Lent this year. So, basically, he's just not paying attention to the Republican primary. A study on guns found that children have brought in 185 guns into school this academic year alone. Well, make that 187. This is super cool. Thanks to Apple's technology, 20-year-old blind man James Rash is able to follow his passion and make films. Well, I'm very happy for him. I'm not too sure how his next project, a silent film, is going to go. The highly anticipated Batman vs. Superman movie has gotten horrible reviews from critics, and when Ben Affleck heard the news, he wasn't too happy, sparking this viral video. I just wondered uh, whether that, how, how that makes you guys feel and whether it will even affect the film as such. Well, uh, the, the interesting thing is that... We, we... Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. Right, maybe my favorite thing all week. Rapper Snoop Dogg just released the first episode of his new wildlife series where he narrates nature. Producers of the show were very surprised about how much Snoop Dogg knew about nature, especially the plants. It was a little too much there, Snoop. North Carolina man James Myers was arrested for never returning a VHS tape he rented 14 years ago. This has got to be the opposite of Netflix and chill, more like Blockbuster and Bail. TiVo might enter an unlikely merger with a company called Rovi. Are they going to abort a merger with Rovi? I guess we'll have to wait and see. A recent study found that homework doesn't really benefit kids until the 10th grade. You hear that, third grade teacher, Mrs. Peters? Your spieling homework didn't do anything. And finally, a fire breather at a Florida high school pep rally was burned in the face after using a new type of lighter fluid that he didn't practice with. Seems like that plan really backfired. I'm sorry, but that joke was on the lighter side. Do you like reality shows? I know I do, so check out the craziest, most insane reality show the 2016 presidential election. It's got fighting, it's got Twitter battles, it's got affairs, it's got an old racist orange guy. Literally everything you need from a scripted reality show, except it's deciding the fate of this country. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed the episode, hopefully you learned something. Uh, sorry I haven't been around for a while, I had midterms, I had a spring break, I had a lot of things going on, but, um, and also I taped another episode and it just wasn't good enough. And also I no taped another segment with uh, British people and I tested them on American trivia and they tested me on British trivia and... Obviously, I know nothing, as the rest of Americans do, about any other country, so I lost. Um, but the file's not working, something's wrong with it. But hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and uh, please guys go out and vote, not just because you want to get involved with the biggest reality show ever, but just because it's important, it's a civic duty, there are tons of people around the world who can't vote, so just make sure you do it, just whoever you're voting for, even if you're voting for Big Bird, still go out and do it.